In Him we live. In Him we move. In Him we become our being. Um, Jehovah, we are born again. Stand by it. Just at home, we are alive. Manzini International Tabernacle. There was a couple of years in Konzo. Jehovah, we are there. We call on Fudi Swami, Reverend. Dr. M. C. Damini, without Shumai and Bugeli, without Tuani Villa Colombos, without Sitagan, without Tandaza, when the Umbugeta and Jacan Bugel, Ubeti Viaco, who call on Fudis Wami, without Shumai. At this point in time, I'm going to ask Marian Mumalo, Etta Pambili, and Tom Seventua, and Varalo and Bugel went down, call on Fudis Wami, without Shumai. Live the Ngozi with Altona. Amen. Good morning, saints. Um, my name is Bessie Gondwe, Mrs. Numalo. I just want to remind 
everyone watching and everyone here today, the church does not close, only the buildings, because we are the church, the living body of our Lord Jesus, and we are everywhere. Let us keep worshiping. Let us keep the community connected via messages, via phone, um, and online. For we are called to be a voice of calm and reassurance, affirming that God is with us. Um, Abazalwane are reminded to continue giving tithes and offering. Giving can be done through mobile money to cell phone number 7692-9773. Alternatively, one can use our NetBank account held at the Manzini branch. Our account number is 04000000161251. Branch code is 360264. For Vision 2030, one may use our First National Bank account, number 628-1819-740. The branch code is 282064. All branches are further advised to communicate with their pastors on meeting times in adherence with COVID-19 regulations. Pastors and Bazalwane are reminded to strictly adhere to the guidelines, guidelines put in place by, church, by the church to ensure proper health and safety and compliance with government, with government co, co, um, regulations. Excuse me. Um, lastly, we are all reminded to keep updated on social media platforms. At this point in time, may I humbly request the praise team to um, lead us in song as we welcome our father, Reverend Dr. Absalom Lamini, who is going to share with us the message for today. Be blessed. Oh, glorious God, you are. Our 
security, all crowns of pride, we lay them down at the altar, we lay our crowns, we lay our crowns, and worship, oh glorious God, oh glorious God, lift up your voice, oh glorious God, glorious God, we praise your name. Glorious God. Father, we bless you this morning. We give you the glory and the praise. We glorify your name that yes, we serve Lord. a God yes, Lord. who is above every other yes, thing. Lord, the supreme name. God, the creator, Hallelujah. the ruler and the governor of the universe. Yes, Lord. You are raised and highly lifted up. Yes, Lord. You rule and reign supreme. Mighty God. We thank you, dear God, that your word is final. Yes, Lord. Even at this time we look unto thee yes, Lord. because you are the government, you are the governor, yes, and we are everything. We commit ourselves to you this morning as we pray, dear God, for this nation. We commit our land. We commit our people. Yes, we commit our leadership. We commit our God, yes, the head of state. Yes, we Lord. commit our government. Yes, we commit the authorities of yes, the land Lord. in all the communities, in, the name in all Jesus. the regions, yes, in Lord. all the chiefdoms, Hallelujah. in all the institutions, Hallelujah. the chief executive officers, yes, wherever they are found, yes, the principals, yes, anybody holding yes, an Lord. office of responsibility, in the name anywhere, of Jesus. everywhere. In the name we of say Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Yes, let the influence Hallelujah. of the mighty God Hallelujah. be upon them yes, in Lord. Jesus' name in Jesus to bring name. guidance, yes, to Lord. bring leadership, yes, to bring clarity in, the name in Jesus, Jesus' name. We are praying for divine intervention. Hallelujah. When we don't know what to do, yes, we know we can come to you. Yes, Lord. When we don't know where to go, yes, we know we can go to you. Yes, Lord. For the answers are with you. Hallelujah. Even at this time, dear Hallelujah. God, we are saying, yes, Lord. appear as you appeared in the wilderness. In the name of Show Jesus. yourself as you showed yourself yes, when the children of Israel came to Jericho. Jesus. 
you said I am yes, the leader, the commander Hallelujah. of the armies of God. Hallelujah. We are calling upon you, Hallelujah. the great commander Hallelujah. of the church, the great commander yes, of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. We are saying, lead us Hallelujah. triumphantly. Yes, Lord. You put us in the world yes, Lord. to be the salt of the world. Yes, Lord. Now in Jesus' name, yes, Lord. be the saltiness yes, Lord. of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The saltiness yes, Lord. of your word. Yes, Lord. We pray for healing yes Lord. we say dear god yes Lord. let there be a hindrance yes lord a protection yes lord a dissolution in jesus name a destruction in jesus according name. to psalm 33 verse 10 yes lord you will nullify yes lord in the you name will of frustrate jesus. In Jesus you will name. put to zero in the name of the Jesus. works of the enemy. Yes, Lord. Wherever the enemy is, yes, Lord. Whatever the enemy is doing, yes, Lord. You shall bring it to zero. In the name of in Jesus. The name of Jesus. In Jesus name. Let your purpose, yes, Lord. and your will, yes, Lord, prevail. In the name according of Jesus. to Psalm 33, yes, Lord. verse 11. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May the Holy Ghost take your word. Hallelujah. Into the hearts of your people. In the name of Jesus. Into the homes of of your people in the name of in Jesus. Jesus' name, hallelujah. Pilisa Sifesako, yes, Lord. Baba Tulingwele, Fimba, yes, Lord. Look, Melago Finjo, Yakam, Kulule, Kupila, look, Pilisa, Jesus' name. Now let's cut again, Gulunguluet, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When do seven to Lomush, Yakam, Malika, we will sell up and it was for Satan, Yakam, Yaka Malika, Jesus, and Jesus, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a day. We are so delighted today. We want to appreciate the opportunity accorded to us. As a church, that is part of the body of Christ. To be able to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and bring hope to the nation especially at this time of COVID-19 we are not elevating COVID-19 but because of what is happening around there must be some form of confrontation and what we are doing now, we are facing this pandemic by all ways and all means. But as children of God, but as, as children of God, we know that our, our warfare is not in the flesh. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. Whatever is in the flesh, we fight within the spirit. Because God has given us the authority. And therefore this morning I say, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty through Jesus. To the pulling down of all the strongholds and demolishing everything. We want to appreciate this opportunity, as I've said, from our government, the leadership of the land. Allow me to get straight to the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to read verse number 18 in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And we are going to read that verse 18. It says, Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Therefore comfort one another with these words. Other versions say, encourage one another with these words. My work this morning is to comfort and encourage. At this time, of confusion and panic. At this time of so many theories, narratives, 
and talks about what is happening. And to the time when we are being scared and so much has been said, whatever comes at whatever statistics comes out, it scares us. And nobody is enjoying his freedom. We are no longer doing what we used to do at our own will. Movements are controlled globally. Business is controlled globally. You can't go to a place of pleasure in leisure. At leisure. Because we are angry. We are getting into the era of being controlled. It's not by invitation. The time has come when the global world, as it has been said, it's a global village, it is going to be controlled. Where, where we are today, we are at the point of panic. Fear. We are being paralyzed. Going through a paralysis of some sort. The Bible says, Therefore, in the midst of all this, comfort one another with these words. When they, we get the, the information from the means of health, we are not expecting good news at all. But I'm coming with good news today. The Bible says, comfort one another with these words. Which are these words? Because there are words coming from the UN. There are words coming from our government. There are words coming from America. There are words coming from those who are dealing with the health issues of the world. Every word you get today is not encouraging at all. It doesn't matter the source. Watch your television, there's nothing encouraging. I do bring a word of encouragement. And the encouragement is packaged. And I've packaged them under just one theme today, title. And it, it is entitled The Second Exodus. The, the Second Exodus. Where do we get the first Exodus? The word, the word Exodus is from Latin. But the word exodus is from Greek. It talks about a mass departure. A mass departure of people. When a great number goes out on the way. And therefore, allow me to bring this word of encouragement the word of comfort if I talk about the second exodus when was the first exodus when was the first exodus the first exodus we know that it happened in Egypt and it was during a time of death there were so many pestilences there. There is one part of it that happened. It was so bad that people were dying on a daily basis. It was the time when God was changing the history of the children of Israel. 
Every time God changes the history of mankind, there are dramatic events that happen. During the wars that have been fought, First World War and Second World War, those gave us what you called, number one, it was the League of Nations, and then later, it was the United Nations. Then those, that, those organizations change the way we do things because we are no longer living as an individual entity as a nation or a sovereign nation that can do whatever we do every time we do something it has to comply with the regulations and the conventions of the United Nations the world was changed during that time the world changed during the days of Noah and every time God would allow certain things to happen in order to usher a new dispensation the exodus was marking a new era in the life of the children of Israel how did they get out they went out when Egypt was dying and God had preserved them on the eve of their departure on the eve of the exodus God told them what to do Wow. God told them what to do. And God said to them, on this day, you are going to get into your houses, slaughter the lamb, apply the blood, and stay inside. This is what I want us to understand. And God said to them, when you eat the Passover, you, you must eat the Passover in a particular posture. He said they must eat the Passover in this posture. In readiness for departure. Hallelujah. In readiness for departure. While they were dying in, outside, they were preparing for departure inside. While they were dying outside, they were preparing for departure inside. And I want to say to the brethren, wherever you are, we are preparing for departure. Death will continue, but we are preparing for departure. And, and do you know what happened? They had to have the blood to qualify for the first departure. They have to be inside they, in order to qualify for departure. And then there should be a squatting in preparation for departure. At the opportune time, at the right time, God tells them. He told them what to do. Hallelujah. And God said to them, Exodus 11, at the moment of your departure, just about your departure, verse number 6, and there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt. Verse number 6, Exodus 11. Hush, such as there's never none. Oh, no shall be like it anymore. But against any of the children of Israel, shall not a dog move his tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says there will be so much death. In Egypt. 
there will be a great cry throughout the land of Egypt such as there has never been nor shall there be anything more than it but 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 against any of the children of Israel there shall be no dog that will move his tongue against men that you may know how that the Lord does put a difference between Egyptians and the Israelites. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. We look the same, but we are not the same. We pray to the same oh, God, my God, but in different ways. God, God has an agenda for his people. As there was the first exodus, there shall be a second exodus. As the, as the blood was necessary for the first exodus, the blood shall be necessary for the, for the second exodus. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Somebody said, Your God is too cruel. Because it demands the blood. Do you know why it demands the blood? Because the Bible says the life is in the blood. Life is in the blood. In order to save life, we need life. Now let's finish up this story. When they departed, God said, You are going to leave Egypt with great possession. You will plunder Egypt and then you will go. That was the first exodus. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Now, as we come to today, this is very, very touching. Because as we are talking right now, the whole world is overwhelmed. They don't know what to do. The best thing I can give to anyone around me is to tell you, get ready for the second exodus. Because I don't want to join these prophets who are saying, which is good, of course, but we cannot comfort. comfort. We cannot comfort with one another with lies. We have to go to the word and say, what is the best thing that can comfort me? I won't tell you what's going to happen with COVID-19. I won't tell you that it's going to come and go and come and go. I I, I, I don't want to get into that. I'm not a medical profession. But I want to say whether it, come, it becomes worse, we are going to do everything possible to save ourselves and to save lives. But on top of that, we are going to do everything possible to encourage one another to comfort one another about what and with what with one message if this thing called the COVID-19 becomes worse or it becomes better there is a second exodus we are not of the world we are strangers and foreigners in this world we are getting ready for the second exodus wow do you know Mr. Jamini I know from the word of God Jesus talked about it he said I will go to the father he will get the Holy Ghost preach the gospel and then afterwards I will come back and take you 
so that where I will be, you will be with me also. That is number one. Number two, it comes with Paul, the apostle. Paul, Paul says, I want to read this scripture again. Yeah, this, this one, sorry. Paul says, in 1 Thessalonians, ah, that's where we get the second Exodus. But I don't want you, brothers, to be ignorant. Verse number 13, chapter 4, 1 Thessalonians. I don't want you, brethren, to be ignorant concerning them which are asleep those who have died in Christ, that you do not sorrow, even as others which have no hope. Oh. Encouragement brings hope. Yeah. Comfort brings hope. Yeah. This is what I have. I have a word of encouragement. I have a word of comfort. Those who have already slept and died, there is hope for them. But provided when they slept and died, they were blood washed. Now, the other thing that I want to bring to our attention, according to the word of the Lord, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, also those which sleep in Jesus, God will bring them up. Hallelujah. For this we say, unto you according to the word of the Lord that we who are still alive when Jesus comes we shall not go before them those that have slept yes for the Lord himself 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 shall descend from heaven this is not a fairy tale it shall take place it shall take place it shall take place the Lord himself shall descend from heaven those who have slept in Jesus who have died in the Lord hallelujah those who died in the Lord by a crush, a crush, or by accident, or by fire, or by lightning, or by all kinds of COVID. If they were in the Lord, the Lord to raise them up. And as, as he raises them up, the living saints, those of us, we will be busy. We will be nursing our brothers from COVID-19 while we are attend. While we, are, while we attend to them, the COVID-19 people, while we are giving them medication, it might happen that the Lord will descend in the midst of, in the midst of our work. As the Lord appears, sanitizers will remain. Sanitation will stop. Why? Because if you are going to go with Jesus, your heart must be sanitized by the blood of Jesus Christ. You must be cleansed in the blood of Jesus. The second exodus. I don't want to miss it. Jesus help me. Let me just say this again. The Bible says, then we will be alive. We shall be changed. We won't be in this kind of a feeling. There's going to be power that changes us because the Holy Ghost is inside of us. When this happens, those who have died together with us, we shall be caught up to be with the Lord. 
Ah, hallelujah. Thank Let you, Jesus. Let me just talk. I pray that some people that I want to mention without mentioning names. There are people somewhere who are busy working on a program and agenda for depopulating the world. They've tried it before. It has worked in one way or the other. They are having sleepless nights. They want to depopulate the world for, e for ease of manipulation. But I want to tell you, listen to me, wherever you are, with your depopulation agenda, Jesus Christ, in the second exodus, will depopulate the world. Because there are millions of Christians all over the world who shall be caught up, who shall be caught up when the trumpet sounds, they shall be taken up and they shall be depopulation. COVID-19 has created big problems politically, economic, economically, socially, educationally, life has changed. But I want to tell you, when Jesus comes, there will be vacancies because of the great exodus. One more piece of information. This is 1 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians says, chapter 2, I don't want to, Bazalwane, to be disturbed as if Jesus the day of the Lord has already come. No, don't, don't be worried. It will not come unless and before there is a great departure, a great falling away. He says it won't happen. Then he says and then the appearance sure and then the appearance where am I now? And then the appearance of the lawless one. And he says, yeah, let, no man, <clears throat> let no man deceive you by any means. For then they shall not come except there comes a falling away first. That is another day. Not this exodus. The, listen to this. Except there comes a falling away first and then the man of sin revealed. The son of petition who opposes everything and he exalts himself against everything called God. He will sit in the temple and then make himself God. Verse number 8 in chapter 2, 2 Thessalonians. And then the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow him with the breath from his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming. Now the Bible continues to say but you know what hinders this lawless one you know there is something that is blocking the lawless one the lawless one is the antichrist who will come as I'm talking I wouldn't be surprised to tell you that he's hearing me 
or his agents are hearing me but I want to say there is a world ruler coming for this one world government for this new world order there is a ruler coming the Bible says if you go down he is ready but he's being disturbed there is a hinderer come on come on come on Hallelujah. there is a hinderer I say there is a hinderer and the Bible says the hinderer must be taken out of the way glory to God Hallelujah. the hinderer must be taken out of the way How? who is the hinderer who is the hinderer according to the word of God it is very clear I will build my church upon this rock the, the gates of hate will not prevail against it the church is immovable the church, the, the church is eternal the church is the salt of the world the church is the light of the world the works of darkness cannot prevail when there is light evil cannot continue when there is salt and listen to this the hindara must be taken out of the way. That is the second exodus. The second exodus. Do you know that the Antichrist cannot fully function so long as the church is here, so long as we are praying, so long as we are preaching? That's why he is, he's come with his agenda to hinder the church to stop the church from accelerating the gospel that's why they are targeting the church all over the world from a long time therefore brothers and sisters because Jesus is coming in the midst of this COVID-19 the only hope to my brothers Jesus is coming get ready get ready be blood washed be, be, come, come on come on now be, 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 be COVID-19 defiant hey hey look at this look at this now Nyalo. we are COVID-19 compliant but in the second exodus there shall be a COVID-19 defiance because the hindara will go the church because the Holy Ghost is operating in the church he's making us to be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Ghost and very soon we shall be going very soon we shall be going as we pray right now I want to encourage you don't lose hope don't be discouraged stay in Jesus stay connected because we are about to leave it may take a couple of months or years but you are ready now in Jesus name hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. we want to pray yes, Lord. can we stand on our feet before yes, the Lord. Lord. oh Lord Jesus hallelujah. come Lord Jesus yes, Lord. come Lord Jesus hallelujah. glory to God Jesus is coming again. He's coming again. Glory to the Lord.
Jesus is coming again. He's coming again. He's coming again. He's coming again. He's coming. Did you want me long? When he comes, will you find you? Will you be ready for you? Will you be ready? Ready, ready, ready for you? Will you? Will you? Will you? Ready for you? And when he comes, when he comes, will you? Will you? Will you be ready? Ready, ready, oh yeah, ready, ready for you. He's coming again. He's coming again. to the Lamb. Hallelujah. Father, in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus Christ, in Jesus name. we now pray that you help us. Yes, Lord. The only hope we have, My God. we know the Bible says the whole world lies in wickedness. Yes, Lord. But one thing that we know Hallelujah. is that we have got your own people in this world. Yes, Lord. The church, yes, Lord. the salt of the world. Hallelujah. And now, Father, we are praying let those who are far away from you quicken their steps to come to you. Those who have drifted away from you, let them find their way back to you like the prodigal son. Those that have grown waxed and lukewarm, let them kindle their fire and say, I want to rise up and strengthen my relationship with Jesus Christ. And Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, help us to get out of religion and get into a relationship with you. Help us to get out of routine and get into a right standing with you. In the name of Jesus, so that we are ready for the second exodus. We are praying for the families who have already lost their loved ones. Yes, Lord. We are praying for those who are infected already In Jesus. and praying for those who are affected. Yes, we are praying for those who are serving and trying to rescue the situation. Yes, Intervene, dear God. In the name and those who happen to escape life, we know yes, that there is a second exodus. The they are not lost here. We shall meet them Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Heal our land. Yes, Lord. Remember Africa. Yes, Lord. Remember our continent. Yes, Lord. Protect it from all of kinds Jesus. of plots, yes, from Lord. all kinds, my God, Hallelujah. of manipulation. Yes, in Jesus' name, in Jesus we name. are getting ready for the second exodus yes, by the blood, by the Holy Ghost, yes, by 
getting closer to you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We are not of this world as we are living in this world. 
uthi umfundisi wami namuhla asikhamfathane comfort one another with this world siyaboka mfundisi kushumayela kanjena sasitakasi sive semaswati siyaboka ngcekwe yenkosi mbukeli siyakuthanda mbukeli siyakuthanda mbukeli ungewethu mbukeli mbukeli ngishinja kuya ngixoyise mbukeli uma saqala u experience some technical problems ku interview yami nemfundisi sithi nje mbukeli hayibe kancane mbukeli siyaxolisa but mbukeli uma uya siyakuthanda mbukeli sibone ukuthi kuhle mbukeli phela siyiphinze interview yethu nemfundisi ekuqaleni kwami nje nyalo sokukhona mfundisi reverend dr mc dlamini mfundisi wami Chumayele ngeku livile nkosi lavakale makhaya umbukeli wasitakale khaya mfundisi wami sibe nje mva kancane umuntu wami eqala bengikudinga ngeku ukuthi ingaba nje uthini umlandvo wale bandaleli mfundisi angibe mfisha nkosi ngisho ngithi libandla laqala ke minyaka ka 1991 kwakune migomo beyikhona bese ilandzela bese ithi ngema target groups luhlobo lolutsite bani bese baqothela ngaso sikhathi kutsa nasiqala kanjalo kodwa kumgomo wethu kutsi sichubeke sanzise live lenkosi njalo kumbono lesinawo nje ufake ekhatsi lesithi personal vision wena uzuza abantu beluhlobo lwakho ibe sekubayi local vision la uhlala khona sekubayi national vision lefaka live sekuya regional and then until we global singukanjalo njalo sikhulunga emabandla ka senabi levele lamanye lelinye lingale le South Africa lamanye agcwele lonke levela kangwane Amen amen mfundisi wami futhi sicela kanje namhla mfundisi live lakangwane emhlaba wonke jikelele uhlaso lwengumkhuhlane iCovid 19 ngawe jinxekwe yenkosi sithini sicephe umhlambelo ongasithola ebhayibhelini macondza naye simo sihlala umkhuhlane enzabeni imikhuhlane ngithinda ngiSolomon nakathandaza encwadini yamakhosi nasencwadini esigronike zesibili nawufundza bo verse lapha bo sahluko sibo 6 nabo 8 eh ngesikhathi athandaza avula ithembeli wabeka tonke ethi nihlupheke othela undu wafake ekhatsi ngisho tifo wathi uba kanti kasehlela sifo nasingena kulendla sitothandaza ubo sihawukele dibe khona tifo ngasemuva daba khona ngaphambili lenxa kusho nje ukuthi Exodus ukuthiwa umani yawulalela nekungilalela ngiya kuthi kweshe za tifo ke kunjalo mfundisi wami nani libanda ngicekwe yenkosi kubhekile ukuthi ni comply kuma regulations e coronavirus a 2020 ingabe libandla nje international tabernacle yinde likwentile emfundisi wami kuhambisana nalo mgomo ndawuthi nje nakuqala ukuthi wa lockdown nakuthi wahlala nemakhaya nengaphumi sabe sesithi asithathele ukuthuba lokuba semakhaya sithandaze sabe sesilungu sinzaba yemthandazo sathandaza ngetiqheme every day kusukela ngalolo langa kuqala i lockdown kuthandazwa every day from 6 to 6 enza mbama netiqheme nato futhi leting 6 lokusho ukuthi bathatha 2 hours sisiqheme sisinye kusola ngaso sikhathi kwaka moya lokho kodwa kwetempilo sabe sesicela bones lesinabo neti 70 tempilo letilapha emabandleni ethu nabo dokotela ukuthi abahlangane bakuthi go stovimba lokuthi bantfu balibele kuposta nje noma ngabe yini baya posta nje noma ngabe yini satha kube ngabo laba tasitshela ukuthi uthini hulumende uthini health uthini mhlaba hlangene maqonzana nalenzaba yaka covid basulungiseleke konke nanyalo batawuqhubeka noma ngasekho covid baqhubeka sithoba libandla leli spiritually healthy nalanga phandle sibeke labanakekele nanga nje ma regulations lafaka lokwa hulumende ne 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 protocol yasebandleni ukuthi silandzela inike nje ke makhola sebandleni siyaboka mfundisi mbukele khaya umfundisi wami lo dokotela reverend mc dlamini asithandela kabanti ukuthi kahle kahle lisuka kuphi uyasho kumfundisi uthi embukeli libandla lapha ekhaya kwaniya kuqala nje na umkhuhlane i covid 19 lashintsha indlela lekhonta kakhona bakhonta nje from 6 to 6 bathi qheme leti sithupha uthi umfundisi ke baqala nje ukuthi sisebenti setempilo singene ekhathi ngoba umuntu uyaposta nje lakuthandzako akuposti lo muntu lo watiko ngetempilo mbukeli ekhaya libandla nema regulations lakhona akho nje na ukuthi umfundisi wami alange ekhathi nje na ba comply kiyo eceleni kwami nyalo mbukeli ukhona thama idlamini sikuvusele enkosi azivusele enkosi sivusele nebazalwane emakhaya amen amen dlamini ngikunene 
sibona umsakato ukuthi thombe sothi in TV unvakashele kusakata inkonzo ezivenze maswadi siyathi ukuthi nani libandla netimvu nemalunga lakhona lengaphandle lakhontawo kanye nemsakato utawuchuze kaphi nje aye kula mabandla ingabe nje ni libandla lakhaya nifinyela njani nje umalunga enwe ekhaya asibonge inkosi emalunga ethu ngenhlanhla vele bese siqalile lokusebenta nale covid ingafiki See now in my platforms, the city, my social media platforms, Trisha Gonga, Lokona, social media, see corner, see Pinza Futsi, Simsavan Sagakulu, what's up, see Netika Megala Kaya, the city, my groups, eight to the seven down now, Nile and Aleo group here at Sinzan, and over Trisha, my band, La Mangane, by a corner, Lotiba, but Sinzan. Now, the Maband Lagela Kona, a pandle, the city, my branches, eight to now, and all of my groups. Pins are on a lot of us on the lane by a corner, not by Sheshabambi, Selemi Layet. See, see, I ever see the post, Lama Krupin. What's a little big when they're gone? Nagle Langa when they're gone. See, I connect his standards again, you're gone. Lagla Macrups, La Corner. See, I connect his father Facebook. No, when they're gone, nothing goes on Jang and Sondro. We are connecting when you and Nagle to a live streaming. Now, you should see a Tolagal. Trisha goes seven de la Kulu, Kwanga seven de la Pell and Bandla led to the International Tabernacle. By name in Alaba Eba Sins, a good Sian Bona Facebook, Sian Bonum Fundis Facebook, Strela Gutsis Kubek, Stole, Lengonzo Lebegana, Ugle Vigle Pelile, Sia Bonga and Jara Kulu Gotsi, Emma member E2, Aya Responda, Futsige, Sia Temba Tista Kubega, Sagas Sita, even post COVID. So, head of communications. Utibali Banza, Bana Macropu, Agawatapu, Ba Posta, it in Konzo, Etiko Nebanzen, Bacona Facebook, Bacona Gayuchup, in Konzo, Yuaitola, Mbugele Kaya, Mbugel Tengam Yalu, Sangina Mage, Smangel, Tabet Mabuza, Sufu Seleman. Savusela were not named. Amen. Eh, Mage, what Mage? Nabe in Zimanjik, who's by Zalenyalo, a Kulusen Banvan, what is a Gusti Fundu, the Batola, a son Ven, a Satitol, a Mage, and the little Gang and Kutan Covid nineteen. Banvan and Gus Bataling Horse, no Mabo Mage, by a two beggar, Gufunzi, Sabanvana, a Makang, Obabe Velegum, Sebenduabo, I know Bagus Katisa Covid nineteen. Begashi Tongulungu Guti, Lemia Loyak, I to a Bentley to and Tetu, Bessesia Kulumang, I yok Banvana Betu, Sise Makaya, Sikulumang, I Osi Lele, Skulumang, I Osi Vuga, Sibakutate, Sbanigetel Temba, Mobana Bobetui, Lenya Lungales Katsa Covid nineteen, Logunye Gesia Tandaza. Nabo, Sibani Gelu Shalogutinat in Holesti Tandazelago, no mapinze Sbanige to go with Litfuba, Legutti Bashe Pule, Nabo, Slemakaya, Stobona looks imivo, Yabo, Itini, Bevani, Bonanyalo, Logunia Lesiguendago, Gutisia Banigeta, Litfuba, Logutti, Basho, Lobusung Babo, Bessia Bakutat and Elivi Langulungu, when I went there. Maget Abet Mabuza, Ladies Ministry, Utege, Babo Magi, Bana Banvana, Banvana Makaya, Baba Nigi Mialu, Baba Nira Live Lengos, Nao Banvana, Baba Nias Kataguti, Mvanja Sherry, She, Nalo Sungla Verana, and the by Covid nineteen, Vetti and Bugel Guti, Sibatali, Sita and Zimayetu, and Makaya, Kubanvana Betu, and Kerngam Yalu, Nabonga Tamin, Gubusel and Gos, Zusel and Gossi. Amen. Slangana Musa Damnene, Musa Opegan and Kusani Covid nineteen. Niban Vula Basha, Ingabelum Kusani, Unsa Betagan Janijena, it is her intent. Eh, Tinza in the Valle Lengulu Akulu, um, Kakulu, when it comes to Ban Labasha, he covered is affected like everybody else. Um, Gusango Tininja, the business, for instance, Ban Labasha, Kunetin for Lebes Funaktenda. Uh, Lonya Agaban Labasha Labani Labase in business, uh, different sectors uh, of the economy. They are not just, uh, you know, the future. 
but they are present leaders, you know, they are present leaders. And so long ago, when they go, I'm sure we're not going to get it. But now, we're going to affect. Because affect is cool. Lots of my plans uh, to have been deferred uh, by the fact that we're going to be going to have a bit lockdown. And the economy, I believe, is not doing well. So it yeah, affects the whole Ban Labasha. Ban Labasha, they are the greater um, population of the country. They are the a greater percentage. So Mark to uh, the C4C si affects even. Basically, so we show the majority Ban uh, Labasha. Um, in the context of Ban uh, as we have been taught, we do not panic. Like everyone panics, we are comforted by the word of God. E perception yet for your crisis, I find in the live. Um, I would actually mention to say, Guti, Labanye, Iban Labasha, who are in business, uh, they found an opportunity in this time of crisis. See, uh, I see during a lockdown, uh, what, has, what has increased basically is the use of technology, which is the area Iban Labasha. And uh, that actually became a positive spin off Hule Gule crisis. So, in Ashongo Seguti, it has not been uh, gloom and doom, uh, but the Gue Konema opportunities love the And that is how we are taught in the church. Could see a time of crisis, Agusha Guti, Sek Pelagong. Lemon Sabogangosi, Sabogan Bugeli, Mbonga Zamini Lona, Mbugeli, Sabonga Nati, Inkonzo Itala. Kubera Jembugeli, Ube Sekaya, Um Saratoako, Sotin TV, Utau Kubega, Wunira in Kozo, Le Vile Tago, Stagunira Jin Kozo, Le Life, Le Fresh in Bugeli, Wana Jembugeli Kubega, Ube Sekau Pepe, Ukez and Bugeli and Sipo, Nemantla Hambago, Upepa Pagum Bugeli, Upepa Wetu, Steve Semaswati, Together we can conquer COVID 19, Aslara Nebugeli, Tinenawe, Evgile Tago, same time. Same, same grace, same power, same anointing. Stay home, stay safe, stay blessed. Shalom. Yabonga, yabonga, umisibege. Yabonga, yabonga, ukungi bamisa.
hallelujah. If the Lord had not been on our side, our enemies would have slaughtered us. But praise be to the King for his mighty word. The second exodus, hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a dance of praise today. Continually be in my mouth. We bless your name, O oh God. Jesus the Christ. <laughs> 